Hi guys, I'm Finda. Welcome back to my channel and this is my Empowered Experience. This journey started seven years ago when I launched my fragrance Empowered by Finda Fakiwa, which was created with the goal in mind to bring women together from different walks of life to celebrate their achievements. All of the lessons that I learned throughout the journey are what I'll be sharing here on this platform with you guys. For more information on the product itself, you can follow me on my Instagram and also connect with me on Facebook. So let's get into it. Today, the three pitfalls to avoid when you're building a, building a brand or a business this actually can work even if you're not building a business or you're just doing any kind of anything that you're actually going after in life. So these are things, as I said, lessons that I've learned that I'm going to hopefully help you guys to so you can actually avoid this, these pitfalls. So number one, the number one thing that I, that I learned my very first time when I bringing Empowered to fruition was taking advice from other people. I remember uh, there was a girl that I knew in seven years ago when I first started, she was a stylist and she told me when I did the, the soft launch, she was like, Finda, in six months you should have the full bottles prepared and you'll be well on your way. I was so excited for that and literally six years, to, six months turned into seven years, me still hustling. And that whole idea, that whole experience literally taught me that if the person has yet to experience that what you're going after, you can, you should really should not actually take their advice. Example, if you're looking to actually um, accumulate a million dollars, you can go to a friend or a relative who's yet, who's never really accumulated a million dollars to take advice from them. So that was one of the biggest advice that I would actually say that I learned a hard lesson where I thought that everything was gonna be great and I was gonna be sitting right next to Oprah six months later. So, uh, if you've yet to actually subscribe to this channel, if you're actually digging my uh, content, please feel free to subscribe so we can go through this journey together. So the second thing, pitfall to avoid when creating something new, building a brand, starting uh, going after a new venture, I would say do not, do, and I cannot stress this enough, do not purchase a big ticket item. That happened to my partner and I. In uh, 2014, when we actually just did the first, the soft launch of the product, we wanted to also have a car that for a lifestyle that we actually saw as ourselves living when cash flow, when everything was flowing properly, but that was not the case. We bought this BMW and a few months later, we actually started getting into more hiccups. We thought everything was gonna go great with the whole idea, thinking that all the bottles were gonna be ready. And I was also going to be able to be, to have like sales just coming in all over the country, which was not the case at all whatsoever. So uh, long story short, the BMW was repossessed. He got, the, he got the car back, but it was a really tough lesson that we learned. So that lesson is like, do not purchase a big ticket item if you do not have the cash flow for it and you're not ready. And that actually takes us into the third lesson. The third lesson is always, 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 I cannot stress this enough, and that goes coincide with lesson number two. Always make sure that you have enough cash flow. My partner and I, as a, he actually has a full-time job, so it actually has been helping us a lot to make sure that we actually have money. Now that we are parents, we have a three and a half year old, so money goes into Empowered and money also goes into our family. But me not actually having the proper cash flow, we always feel like we are constantly taking from our family to put into our business, or constantly doing it back and forth. So like this part I cannot stress enough, make sure you always have profit, uh, adequate cash flow so you can actually just have everything kind of flowing smoothly. In closing guys, if let me know if you're experiencing any of these down, any of these three pitfalls that I mentioned right now, please comment down below. Let me know if you're experiencing any of those at all. Or if you experienced them before, comment down below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you find this information valuable, please be sure to subscribe and share this with other with share, like, subscribe rather, and share with other people. Thank you so much guys for stopping by.